Okay, your, your uh, hip opening sequence has uh, two parts to it. The first part is just uh, to move the hips as if you're swinging an imaginary hula hoop. So way up to the front, around the side, and back around to the front again. So big circles. You can put your arms out to the side if you want. Imagine you're at a beach party. Does anybody even use the hula hoop anymore? I don't, I don't think I've seen one of those for years. Back the other way, so nice big circles. Slow and easy to start to loosen the lower back. Once you got the basic hula hoop down, the next part of it is to move your hips in, in figure eights. There's a lot of different eight patterns you can do, so you can, you can play around with this a little bit. Start, start really basic. Form an eight uh, in front and behind you, so part of the eight goes around to the front, part of the eight goes around to the back. So big, big movements, big, large gross movements, and the other way. So that's a front to back eight. I'm starting to feel my hips loosen up, and then I can also do a side to side eight. So if I imagine one side of my eight on one side of the body, and then the other side of the eight on the other side of my body. So around one side, around the other side. So big movements, and then back again. You might want to do the next set uh, in, in the privacy of your bedroom or someplace else because uh, it might look a little bit lewd to you, but this is an incredible exercise for opening your lower back. So this time we're going to get more refined. So we'll take that same uh, forward back figure eight that we did with large movements and we'll just refine it down just to the pelvis. So up around the front, around the back, up around the front, around the back, and go both ways. So you got a figure eight front back, and then we'll trace that same side to side figure eight, but just with the pelvis. This would be great if you're into Latin dance, actually. And I'm not going to even, I'm not going to talk about the uh, other applications of this exercise for fear of being censored by Adam. So, other way. And then, uh, probably the, the most difficult variation in figure eights would be to roll the hips up and over as you do a side to side eight. So you can roll, one side goes up and one side goes down, and then roll it up and over the other way. Up and over this way, and then backwards. So one side comes up while the other side tilts down, and then it rolls up and around, and back down again to the other side. So you're working the range of motion of your pelvis in all different directions and different um, different patterns of coordination and that will really help to, to loosen up the lower back and, and open up these areas again and the hip flexors as well from uh, all that sitting and restricted, restricted movement that you tend to do uh, or that we tend to do as desk jockeys we tend to be restricted to this range of motion so working outside those patterns is, is very important to help uh, loosen this area back up. This next sequence is designed to help open your hips and uh, increase your core strength. So these are two, um, two areas that get shut down while you're sitting at the desk all day. Though. You get tightened hip flexors and this in turn shuts down your core. So I want you to come down to the floor for this part and start out with a basic lunge. So one foot forward, uh, my shin is perpendicular, I'm on the knee. You might want to pad your knee with something if, if that's uncomfortable. Uh, put a pillow underneath there or a cushion. And the goal is to keep upright posture, nice and tall. Space out your feet and knee just enough so that you start to feel it right here in this hip flexor. Once you do, start to shift your weight forward a little bit and then squeeze this cheek really hard. As you squeeze this, this uh, glute, this hip flexor will start to open. So you hold this. Hold that for about 30 seconds, and then drop the leg back, right down into a plank. So here we're working on core strength. So nice tight legs, I'm driving my heels down, knees are locked, glutes are tight, shoulders are pulled down away from my ears, elbows are locked, and it should be a nice straight line from your head to your heels. If, if you're not able to support your weight up in your hands, remember, you can drop down to your elbows and do the plank from here. So I'll do the harder version. You'll hold this for 30 seconds, drop down, go forward into the opposite lunge. So remember, this uh, front leg's perpendicular, just enough space in between so that you start to feel the opening on your uh, hip flexor. Then lean into it with nice tall posture, squeeze that cheek to open up your hip flexor. As you feel it start to release, you'll go ahead a little bit more, 
a little bit more. So hold that for about 30 seconds. 30 seconds to a minute is really good to aim for, for all of these, including the uh, planks or the stretches. When you've got that, release it back. This time, drop down into a side plank. So again, this arm is uh, locked. Shoulders pulled down away from my ears. Hips, hips are locked nice and tight. Legs are locked. I'm up on the edge of my foot and either arm, arm up here for, to keep my torso straight. This is very helpful. If, if you have a problem supporting yourself on this one arm, remember you can do the same plank from your elbow. So the goal of the side plank, there we are, is uh, again, nice straight line. Switch it up, side plank on the other side. So 30 seconds to one minute. And finally, drop down into a superman hold. So from here, you can start with your hands at your sides and arch up just using your back strength. Nothing pushing here. And as you get uh, better at this, you can start to bring your arms further away from your body until they're in the full Superman position. So nice, a nice hold to work the back of your core. Again, 30 seconds to a minute. So that's, the, that's each movement broken down. See the, the cues, the coaching cues right underneath the video uh, for these exercises. And we'll go through it once more, the sequence, so you can see uh, without the explanations in between. So you'll start with lunge, down to plank, down to lunge on the other side, back down and over to side plank, then switch sides, opposite side plank, down to superman hold. For your, your hip opening and core strengthening sequence.